Has your class ever made the teacher cry? What happened? In middle school science. I had a teacher who was always so sweet. She was an older woman. And she always made sure we had materials for her class. Often at her own expense. I remember she went out and bought like 20 plastic pencil cases and filled them with pencils. Rulers. Erasers. Everything we would need for the class. One day. Some of the kids decided to throw a few of the pencil cases across the room. They snapped some of the rulers and just generally broke a lot of the things she provided for us while she stepped out for 5 minutes to talk to another teacher. When she came back. She started crying and I remember feeling so bad for her. She gave the class little pieces of candy after. Apologizing for losing control and getting emotional. We were the ones who should have been apologetic. She was so sweet to us even though the class was full of demon children. I'm the teacher who cried but I guess I can still share something lol. My class noticed one morning that I wasn't myself and one kid asked me during recess whether I was okay. Normally I wouldn't share about my personal life but I told my student that my grandma had passed away that morning. At the end of the day before I dismissed the class. The class committee handed me a sympathy card with really sweet condolence messages from every student in my class. I couldn't keep it in and started bawling. Angry Tears. Had a history teacher one year. Really good teacher. He had had a teenage son who had committed suicide. And after he took some time off. He came back to work. Standard class clown kid started acting up in his class. Teach asks him to go into the hallway so he can speak with him privately. We heard their exchange get a little heated. But this kid just cranked it to 11 and insinuated Teach's kid was right to kill themselves with a father like him. Heard that kid bounce off some lockers about a second after. Teacher came back into the room with angry tears and told one of us to call the school resource officer. It became a big hullabaloo and teacher ended up suspended for the rest of the year. At the time I thought it was crazy he'd shove that kid like that. 15 years later and some real world experience later. I'm surprised that's all he did. I'm a college teacher in the UK. Absolutely love my job. Love helping the kids I teach and love helping them reach their uni courses. Never really had many issues with most of my classes. But I had this one class that was real lazy. Never did their work etc. They got a real shitty result back one lesson. Average mark was like 30%. I said something in passing and a student made a comment about how I shouldn't guilt trip them. I explained how I felt like I was working harder than they were and I felt like I cared more about their results than they did. Despite they would be going to uni. At the time I was going through a breakup and was living in my car for a few days and I cried then in front of that class. Awful moment. Professionally speaking. Our form tutor was a kindly middle-aged Welsh gal. Pure as anything. Just happy to be doing her job. But teenagers being who they are. It made her a joke to many. She announced to the class she'd be leaving at the end of the term or year ETC. And they all cheered and whooped. She left the classroom in tears. Kids can be assholes. I had a French teacher once. We were her first class since becoming a teacher. Lovely woman but many of us suspected she has mental health problems. Always very quiet and mousy and she always came in looking a bit messy i.e. Hair not brushed and makeup a bit smudged. There were these two girls who would just torment her. They hid pickled muscles around the classroom and were just these loud obnoxious assholes. Long story short. Turns out the teacher's mum had just died and on top of the stress of managing a class with some real horrible kids she had a nervous breakdown and never came back. About two years later I was going to a concert and saw her begging for money outside a train station. Just felt so horrible seeing what she had been reduced to all because of some nasty fuckling kids that just pushed her and pushed her. Yes. Year 5. 9-10. We had this small. Pretty cool teacher take over our class because our usual teacher was out doing something. One day. We would not shut up. Something happened that got us kids all excited. And I was just giggling. Looked up to see the teacher just run out the class in floods of tears. 
I then realized just how little attention the class was given her and how much they cared because it took several minutes for everyone to notice she was gone then went right back to talking. I felt really bad for that teacher because she was the only teacher in our year who got no respect from the students. It was the end of the day and a whole bunch of us 9 year olds were getting ready to go home when this kid who was always trying to make trouble started arguing with the teacher about the next day's homework and she made some comment about his mom and then he made a rude joke about the teacher's mom and she burst into tears and screamed her mom was dead. Then we sat in silence for like 5 minutes while the teacher cried. Edit. Also that same teacher once came in crying in the morning and when we asked what happened she said one of her past students died of leukemia. The worst thing was that we saw that girl like a week before while the class was taking a walk in the woods and she and her mom mentioned how she was recovering and was feeling so much better. I remember in high school getting a teacher fresh out of uni. He was the best, super passionate about teaching and would often incorporate music and comedy into his teaching to make it more interesting. Almost everyone in the class loved him because of it. There were three footy players who would always play up in class though. And the teacher spent extra attention on them. Trying to get them just as excited about learning as the rest of the class. But they were simply too cool to pay attention in class. One day they took it too far. I can't remember the exact details. But I do remember that one of the footy players threw a chair as a joke either at another student. Or at the teacher himself. And it just broke the poor guy. He lost his shti at the unruly students. And you could see the pure frustration in his face. He just wanted to teach. But these few students were hellbent on ruining it for everyone. He ended up just leaving the classroom in tears. And everyone in the class quickly turned against the kids who threw the chair teacher here. I was witness to the death of one of my former students, pedestrian hit by a car right outside my apartment. This was pretty common knowledge to my students. And during a Kahoot game one of them put her name as their nickname. Couldn't help tearing up. And I let the waterworks start during my prep period. What an asshole. We had a substitute once. And one of the football jocks went behind her and pretended to hump her. She glared back at him and began bawling. What an idiot. It wasn't my class but my twin brother's class when we were in grade 7. We went to a public school. Which was full of delinquents. But his class was especially bad. They had a substitute teacher take over one of their classes for about a month. And one of the kids thought it would be hilarious if he pretended to be severely intellectually disabled. Looking back on it now it was horrible. But at the time everyone thought it was hilarious. He would moan words. Throw books. Water. Spit on the floor and dribble. The class played along with it but they would all howl with laughter at him. The substitute kept saying things like he can't control it. Stop bullying him. It got to a point where he was being especially bad with his acidic ability and everyone in class kept laughing. She ended up crying in the middle of class and later quit after she found out he had been pretending the entire time. In 5th grade. My class was always extremely nasty to every substitute teacher that came in. They decked out. Doing and saying stupid shti. Though we never actually saw any of them cry. Our regular teacher told us on multiple occasions that we'd left the substitute in tears after class was done. I hated every time there was a substitute because it would always become a shchow. Also in middle school we had a teacher that started out extremely chill. She said she didn't believe in yelling at students. Unfortunately though. A lot of the same little shts from my 5th grade class were in this class too. Plus new ones. I don't remember what the cause was exactly but one day she just snapped and screamed at us for a good 10 minutes. She definitely believed in yelling at students after that. It's one of the few things from middle school I remember clear as day. Her breath stunk from meters away. We anonymously left a bottle of Listerine on her desk. We thought we were being kind. She thought it was a horrible prank. These days I can see her point. 
no but once in chemistry class the teacher coach Bert stopped writing on the board looked straight ahead and mumbled I could probably blow my brains all over this chalkboard and you all wouldn't even notice the only people that heard him were me and the girl I was talking to. I responded coach I think that's a dry erase board nobody uses chalk anymore. When I was in HS we were misbehaving as a whole group. Just making noise and not listening and messing around and finding just about everything that was happening far too funny. Nothing too major. A few of us got sent out to stand in the corridor until she got a handle on things. When she came out to speak to us. One dude was leaning up against the doorframe with his hand. And upon realizing we couldn't contain our laughter at this point. She decided to leave us out there and stormed back into the class. Slamming the door. It was at this point. The dude screamed with the force of a thousand suns. I hadn't heard anything quite like it. Teacher comes back out instantly. Steam bellowing out of her ears ready to completely destroy our childhoods. She turned to the kid. And noticed the end of his finger hanging off. Instantly realizing she'd shut it in the door. Her mood changed just as quickly. And she just broke down into tears. I would have felt bad but it just topped off the list of things I shouldn't have been laughing at already. Edit. 7th grade English we were still breaking down parts of speech. Our teacher. Let's call her MRS. T. Was trying extra hard to be happy and get our attention and asked one of the worst behaved kids for an example of a sentence so we could break it down as a class. He waited till the room was silent. Looked her dead in the eyes and said MRS. He is a bad teacher. She put it up on the board and broke it down through tears. Still makes me mad over 15 years later. This is how you create a super villain teacher. It was middle school band. About 70 kids with instruments. And about half of those kids would not stop playing them super obnoxiously. Props to the teacher for keeping it together as long as she did though. Teacher posted pictures of her old cocker spaniel everywhere. Well eventually it got sick and died. She took a few days off and was devastated. Class worked with the school and each other to pull the funds to get her a new puppy cocker spaniel. We presented it to her when she returned and she was so happy she cried. Someone made the math teacher cry by saying math is the devil. Man so much character development in such a short comment. All boys school. Young. Pretty female teacher. One of the boys belched loudly. She said that's disgusting. He replied bend over and I'll show you disgusting. She cried. He got suspended. But should have been expelled. It was the last history lesson before the exams began and before we all graduated. We had pulled some money together for a gift basket for our history teacher. With some coca cola, because we knew he was a bit of a coca cola addict, and some candy. Cookies or something like that. I can't remember. Honestly. It's been about 9 years since I graduated after all. He was very touched. Kept saying thank you while sounding like he was holding back tears. It was a bit weird, in a good way, to see this otherwise kinda strict teacher being emotional. I don't think he expected it at all. For some reason she brought spoons she got on her wedding day and passed them around. Someone bent the spoons so she had a breakdown. Third year science class, we were aged around 13, and the school bad girl starts a full on hair pulling. Rolling around on the floor fight with a stand-in teacher we'd never met before. Both the girl and the teacher were dragged out crying. We never saw either in school again. F you Deborah for probably ruining that young teacher's career. I don't know how it is in other countries. But in Germany we have a day where we go to some destination for a day of fun. Anyways the class wanted to go to the zoo and the teacher was really invested in a trip to museum that had an exhibition about meteorites. Damn interesting for a bunch of middle school students, and she cried when we told her we didn't want to go. So we then went there to make her happy. Yeah our form tutor was missing him. She taught us for 2 years and the day we left her group she broke down in tears. It was really sad. She was a fantastic teacher. This still makes me rage. 9th grade history teacher. Never had him myself but a bunch of friends did. 
was a good guy but his wife gave birth to triplets over summer break and his stress level and sleep deprivation was obvious even to a lot of us kids. One day a group of shthed popular girls called the school pretending to be his wife and said there had been a car accident involving his newborns. His classroom was next to mine at the time so he came in. In a panic. To ask my teacher to watch his class before literally sprinting down the hall. IDK what happened but he never came back. Those kids broke him. Yes. A class full of rowdy. Obnoxious kids that wouldn't listen. Teacher wasn't slender and the class would always make snide underlying comments about it. She reached her breaking point one day and started slamming a book on a rowdy student's desk screaming get the fck out of my class over and over. It was quite sad. It was her first year teaching and I think the pressure got to her. I remember on my last day in English class in 5th grade our teacher cried because we were so awesome and she was going to miss us. Apparently she did this every year but it was kind of sweet lol. Here's a sorta wholesome one. I think. My friend and I went to wall for two days to fly to London for a concert of our then favorite band, I'm from Germany. The two of us were top of our English class. So our teacher mostly let it slide if we weren't on best behavior, we were just very very bored tbh, but. Sure enough. The next week she called us up after class to ask why we hadn't been attending. Me. We were. UHH. Sick, insert very bad fake cough. Thing is. We had sent her an anonymous postcard from London. The poor woman was fighting to keep a straight face so hard. She had little tears in her eyes. Our teacher had just graduated and it was her first year actually teaching and she got our class. Our class had all the clowns and idiots. One day. She started crying and said she was gonna stop coming to school. Now our school had a lady. You make an appointment and you can talk about anything. So 6 year old me went and made an appointment for my teacher cause I really liked her and didn't want her to leave. First year of an all girls high school. Music teacher who always held out her hand when she said stop. Not that long after the Spice Girls released their song Assist Up. Led to a classroom of 24 girls. Standing on the tables reenacting the whole dance routine. Well. This wasn't my class. But the entire school was upset about it. So I think it counts. We had a first grader at my school a few years ago that died. No one told me how she died. But I heard it was something wrong with her heart. It just stopped one night. My middle school humanities teacher was moving. But had to move out of her old home before she could move into the new place. She was joking around about having to live in a box by the river. So a few of us got together over a few days to prep. Then got her out of the classroom for a few minutes. And threw together a box fort for her to live in. It wasn't very big or well done but when she saw it she was laughing so hard she cried. Nothing was learned that day. When I was in first grade. One of the teachers was diagnosed with stage 4 metastatic breast cancer. I found out years later that the doctor basically told her she had like 2 months to live. I didn't have her. But my teacher took our class over to hers to see her before she left to do chemotherapy. None of us really knew what was going on. Being first graders. And someone asked when we'd see her again. She just broke down. We didn't actually make the teacher cry. But in 5th grade. She told us this really sad story about a kid she used to teach. It was at night. After a parent teacher conference. And the kid wanted to buy a snack at the vending machine. He argued with his mom for a few minutes to try and buy a snack. She didn't let him. And they left the school. They're crossing this large road. And the kid runs ahead. A truck was driving right at him. He didn't see it. But his mom did. And shoved him out of the way. And she got hit. She died. Middle school teacher in his second year of teaching. The class was being unruly and he had no command of his class so it just spiraled out of control. The more he tried to take control the more it became obvious that he had no control. Eventually he just sat on a large table in front of the class waiting it out essentially. But it just kept coming. 
More mocking. More senseless chaos. More laughing. You could see him questioning his life choices that got him to this point. Looking down and forlorn with tears he kept wiping away quickly. Eventually everyone just ran out of material. Kind of like a boxer refusing to fight someone who clearly can't defend himself. He was just in over his head with little in the toolkit to utilize against hormonal preteens. Funny thing is that we had two teachers at that time that switched classrooms depending on the subject and the other was a seasoned teacher who had total control of the classroom. And no one messed with her. She was a pro and everyone knew not to f with her.